Hi, uh, this is Kelly with Kelly's Estate and Auction Company. We're going to call this video before the auction because we are still prepping before the auction that is August the 13th through the 20th. And we've got a preview that is coming up August the 12th in person. And there is my sidekick, Precious. Precious, now that rug's going to be for sale. Sweet girl. This is an absolutely gorgeous home, and it will be listed after we do the auction. But I'm going to go through here and kind of show you what the process is when we do this directly on site. Um, I don't have an auction facility, a brick and mortar building, so as opposed to doing it, having it in a building and everything there, it's a little bit different. Um, but when you do them in the home, you get a chance to sell everything. And you'll see things have lot numbers on them. There's a lot of beautiful Fenton glass here, Baker furniture. Um, beautiful, quality, quality furniture, collectibles. Look at this, this lamp. Let's see if I can turn it on here without. And that is a Fenton, I believe it's a 100th anniversary piece. And if you'll look at the auction catalog, and I'm going to post the link to, you can see all of these things. And a player piano, Petrov, that is beautiful. I don't know where to take you first. There are so many interesting things in here. You've got Karasan rugs. Uh, beautiful table and chairs here. Don't have this one listed yet. But as you can see, like the decoys and everything that's on auction has got a number. And we're really still very, very much hands-on a hands-on company. I do most of the photographing myself, me and one other person. And uh, like I said, when you do these in a house as opposed to an auction facility, right, you just get to, you can just get to sell everything from right here. I mean, the forks, the spoons, whatever. And that's a beautiful Canadian goose right there. And this is, um, this is a Henry Don piece. Henry Don Baker, some Ethan Allen. And that is a Geochron world clock. You don't see those too much. Precious, I think we went backwards. Just to peek out here into the Georgia heat. Um, we've got furniture out there. Okay, that's enough of the Georgian heat. I love the Majalica monkey vase. This beautiful lamp right here. The best part about this, as always, is turning it on. I think it's got two lights. But look at the color. If that was ever autumn and candy corn. And this is a stickly dining room table and chairs. Lots of tables and chairs in here. A very big family. Another Karastan rug. Glassware for days. China cabinet. You've got Franciscan desert rose in there. A ton of that. And I guess we have made this the Fitz and Floyd counter. But you're going to see a lot of Fitz and Floyd that is super vintage and in great condition. And this video will have two parts to it upstairs 
and the downstairs first. Uh, you got Spode. Pots and Pans, Blue Willow. Uh, Reed and Barton, look at that set. And this is the Botanical Garden. And this is a very much a, it seems like a tedious process, but when you've got it, you've got to be somewhat organized to pull this off for sure, because we just don't have, so, we, do, we do use software, of course, but we don't have it that just automatically loads everything at one time. Linux, junk food, um, Look at there, there is Spode. And I love this, the, uh, this is the estate of a uh, man who's uh, in, in a retirement home now, but he was one of the first uh, franchisers of McDonald's and uh, really a great success story. And I'm really honored to do this sale. Um, and we'll have hundreds of lots. Look, Corningware. All kind of kitchen stuff. So, you know, don't be afraid if you see all these works of art and things like that and think, oh, no, I can't afford anything there. That is not true. We do have, we will have reserves and a lot of items, but I can promise you that they are really, really super fair reserves because we have so much to sell. More china. There's a KitchenAid mixer. And showing you a little bit about the... Uh, I'm just going to take a peek out here. All right, now. And then I'm going to backtrack into the um, formal living room. But you see this garage out here? Now, it's packed full. A lot of this will be sold on preview day. But some of this is in the auction or will be in the auction. Okay, come on back, girl. And see, that's stuff that's already priced right there. And here's a walk-in pantry. And what we do is we go in here and we decide what's going to make the auction and what's not. And if it doesn't make the auction, it doesn't mean that it's bad or no good. It just means that we you know, feel that it would, we could sell it on preview day or pickup day. Because trust me, it would be hard to list every single little item in here. Precious, are you tired of coming here? Are you tired of coming here? See, and there's a ton of candles. There's a ton of candles. All right, let's go backtrack in here. The Karistan rugs here, are they are all Karistan, and they're absolutely beautiful and really good shape, just like everything else in this house. And this is a fantastic Henredon table right here. And I say table, table lightly because beautiful Chippendale, ball and claw feet. The chairs are listed separately. Fantastic. If you love traditional furniture, you're an interior decorator, you've got a client that loves traditional furniture, this is a sale for you. you got two leaves in there that can be taken out. But look where that um, burl walnut meets the mahogany. I mean, just fantastic. And right here you have a baker sideboard. And, uh, let's see, I always like to try to try to show you something, make it a learning experience if you don't know. Most of your fine furniture and other furniture is going to be marked inside of the drawer. And this has even got the, uh, 
the pamphlet with it. Let's step back and look at that. Now this house will go on the market after the auction, but something I want you to remember, if you're gonna to come to the preview, you will see items that say not for sale. And those are items the family members are keeping and using here for staging purposes. So you'll never see them in the pictures. Now this is one of my favorites. And of course, it's not gonna be plugged in. Lots of beautiful Tiffany lamps, Waterford crystal. Look at this console table. And let's hope one of these is plugged up. Thank you. Lots of cranberry glass and Fenton. Beautiful candlesticks. And this, let me step back and show you this. This is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, it's not vintage, but it looks vintage. It is uh, Henredon. Henredon by um, Ralph Lauren by Henredon. And it's beautiful and it's got the lights in there. You see all this Fenton. Fantastic. Now my fa favorite piece, my favorite piece is this Epern. That is gorgeous. Look at that color. And Epern, this part comes out. So don't ever pick one up and turn it upside down. Not that I've ever done that. I really haven't, but I have seen it done. Beautiful break front right here. Uh, this is uh, Hinderdon or Baker. Let me make sure. We are, we are Hinderdon. See, and here is your silver drawer. Still got that plastic in there. Now, now look at look at that price of that. Now we're not going to ask that for it. It does have a reserve on it, but it's not near that much. But eighty nine hundred dollars, eighty nine hundred dollars, and and it's worth eighty nine hundred dollars. But we're not going to ask that for it. So don't be scared about reserves. Look at the spode Christmas tree. Trust me, you're going to be able to get some great deals here. So don't let the word reserve scare you. Um, Waterford. Gorham. That is, um, that is Noritake. Um, you can see all these pictures. Still pictures. That's Waterford. Gorham. Waterford. And look at this gorgeous Howard Miller clock. Isn't that fantastic? And it sounds just as fantastic. Um, um, that's a real bad habit. I've got to break that. The buffet lamps are beautiful. Got lots of Linux and um, Fitz and Floyd. And I love that art glass platter right there. A large amount of Buckley Moss art. We haven't gotten to the jewelry yet, but we will get to that and that will be listed. And what we've done here is we're putting things on shelves. A beautiful secretary Wesley's been camped out in there, camped out right there listing. Another pretty Tiffany lamp. Items that are listed or to be listed. But now these are some comfortable sofas. They are twin sofas. They are sold separately though. They are by uh, Hickory Furniture. Extremely comfortable. Look at these chairs. Y'all excuse me. I've got, I've got a little bit of tape on my boot. And you will see a lot of items around here that are camel related. 
Look at the music stands. Great furniture. Thomas Kincaid. A really a few Thomas Kincaids that are very, very good. Limited editions. And you'll see the Buyer's Choice Carolers. Quite a bit of those. And Jim Shore. And I had no idea that Buyer's Choice made anything but carolers. And this guy right here reminds me of uh, the grumpy old man guy. This is a Michael Gordon birdhouse. Waterford. There is the elevator. However, it's not working. So we might get that fixed. Now, this is plan. This is the plan here, is to have a shopping closet, just like the kitchen and other areas where you can shop. There are books in here. There's still really some great items that have not been touched on yet. So that is a uh, shopping closet. But just like these these are the um the jeep radios i mean am fm compact disc cassette boom box i mean these have never been out of the box and i love this one right here that's the uh, old print with the coca-cola sign on there another great kerastan rug And he's a hard-to-find piece here. That's the Robert E. Lee. I like the um, the handmade duck box right there, the decoy. Are you looking for your bonbons? I know you got to move just a second, okay? And there's a bronze whippet. And this is a statue. This is actually Austin by Austin. Austin does a lot of children. Clocks. Wonderful engraving right there. Cleaning supplies. We have a lot of Ben Hampton too. The artist Ben Hampton. What's going in? Seeing their TVs and stuff. And let's go and go in in this um, downstairs bedroom. But the amount of artwork is just really, really insane um, and, and beautiful. Just lots of certificates of authenticity, lots of limited editions. And look at this. Now we've got more beds upstairs for sale. I mean, you got beds, bed covers, everything. And that beautiful rice bed right there. Look, more art right here. Wesley's got them in um, categories of um, by artist. And there is a, of course, it's a reproduction Monet. It's number 780 out of 980. Are you very bored? Everything we want to go home and see our kitties. All right, more, more art. Uh, the Buckley Moss is just great. Buckley Moss was a favorite of this family, and the story goes that they went to Buckley Moss Moss's house at some time, at some point, and he signed and did a picture just for them that the family is keeping and here's some fur some fox fur and some other kind of fur not mink this is a queen anne high boy a very very nice one let me get over here 
and you will find you will find a ton god don't let me break that a ton of blinko glass here very large floor vases i'm not going to pick that one up i might be pushing my luck another buckley moss we actually have two of these but the lamps the lamps are fantastic this is the fenton burmese the hobnail now that's how I, I say it's a murano glass with um with the ribbons in there if i'm wrong i'm sure somebody will correct me hey i trust me i don't know everything and i'm always willing to learn all right precious let's go in the office let's show them in the office now i'm not showing you these two couches well i just did but but they're not for sale so and i have been camped out in here uh selling uh listing things to sell and this shelf is for sale now you're going to see some mcdonald's items that are great i mean there's a mcdonald's employee t-shirt that is still got the tag on there above stereo All these units and bookshelves are for sale. They're going to be at auction. There is a console table I haven't listed. Beautiful Fenton lamp. Again, look at that um, cabbage rose. Let's see if my flash is on. Cabbage rose. How pretty is that? Cranberry glass. And if you didn't know why cranberry glass is so beautiful, Cranberry glass, true cranberry glass, has just a little bit of gold in the mixture. Now, this is one of my favorites. Please, Lord, be plugged up. Okay. Anyway, it's a really good Tiffany Lotus lamp, and the, the colors are just stunning when it's on. And this is a sculpture picture, Flight, Flight of the Night Horses. And it is fantastic. Look at that. This has to be one of, one of my favorite pieces right here. And that's my station where I'm camped out. I mean, I really found some good treasures in here. Here is a $1864, $50 CSA note, Confederate $50 note. That is number 246. Sit there right now. Stuff everywhere. There's a BB gun. Look at this gorgeous um, easel there. Stuff everywhere. Good stuff. Now, we're going to have a part two because I will probably be extremely windy, winded if I go up those steps and try to do another one right now. Another Tiffany lamp. Look at that. All right. Stay tuned for part two before the auction and we'll venture upstairs.